Uh, we want to clearly have an understanding or a comprehension of what the word private means. Uh, it is private uh, in the sense of not belonging to the, the public or to the state, the legal state. It is one's own. Uh, there's no possible way you can be private uh, and be public at the same time. Uh, that's like being armed and unarmed at the same time. So uh, there is a confusion in this because this seems to be where the, uh, I'd say the greatest amount of misunderstanding on what is truly private. Uh, if you did not have something that was private or your own, you wouldn't be able to make a choice on where you're going to go. So if you choose the proper side where your private name originated from, you will choose the sovereignty of God. If you choose basically to go against that, then you would choose to put it and elect into something that's not yours, which belongs to the fiction. And, and therefore you become the property of the legal state operated by those who are legalists, which are uh, those of a satanic direction. Um, they are the devil's advocates. So um, we, uh, once we see that, then we can clearly understand why it's one's own, it's peculiar, why God chose a peculiar people, um, why scripture said, be ye separate. Separate means private. It's not public, but it's not private within the legal sense. It has nothing to do with legal. Um, so we know there's a lot of people that are um, trying to think that there is some kind of like uh, um, underworld uh, government that they can become part of um, and, and play both sides still, trying to be uh, private within the, the public sphere. But uh, that's, that's definitely a, uh, a monetary uh, misconception uh, because they're still staying within what is not real. So we want to make sure that we have a comprehension of private Private is one's own. It's something that was given to you as a gift so that you have free will to make a choice between what is right and what is wrong.